Kills again, and today I'm canning up pumpkin. We're going to be making pumpkin pie for the holidays shortly, and I wanted to have some fresh canned pumpkin available. Uh, I purchased three small pie type pumpkins, and even that's a bit of a chore to peel and cube and clean and everything. So, anyway, let's get to it. and. Uh, I'll film this in the process so that you know the method that I use to can pumpkin. Okay, okay so I was at the grocery store and I found some uh, pump pumpkins that are absolutely suitable for baking pie. So we are going to can these up and hopefully be making pumpkin pie over the holidays. So first things first. We have to cut these up. There we go. Manage to get through that one. kind of easy on myself and cut it into uh, chunks here. to save those seeds as well. Okay, so I've got one bowl here for the seeds and another one for the meat of the pumpkin. Now you can roast these seeds as well. Perhaps that's what I will do with them. Okay, so I'm going to try to find a way to cut this into little strips. What we want to do is cut these into one inch pieces. And if we cut it up small, we can clean all the pulp on the one side and the peel on the other. Now I can get a potato peeler for this, see if it works better. Oh yes, that works just fine. Okay, so the idea is to clean both the inside and the outside, and then cut it into chunks. Okay, now I'm going to do a few more, and then I'll turn the camera off and get the rest of it done. So, clean the inside. I can remember one year doing about 20 or 30 of these. That was quite the job. Okay. Okay, one more. And then I'll do the rest off camera.
Okay, we'll get back to you when these are all cut up now. Okay, I'm done. I think I have just about as much scrap as what I do. Um, pumpkin. But here's my bowl of pumpkin. And I've got a... Um, I've got some water on the stove right now, boiling, and we're going to blanch these for about uh, three to five minutes once the water gets back up to a boil after we put them in. And then we will put them in pint jars. I was going to put them in quart jars, but I don't think I will. I think I will put them in pint jars. So I'm going to go and get my... I'm going to clean up this mess, save my seed. Here's my most of my seed mess. I've still got some seeds on this table that I can save. And I will uh, clean up this mess and when the water boils I will blanch these uh, pumpkin pieces for a few minutes. Okay, my water is boiled. So I'm going to put all this pumpkin in there. Blanch it for a few minutes. Now, meanwhile, I'm going to get a dozen jars ready. I don't think I'll need that many. Uh, probably about eight-ish, but we'll get them ready anyway. So, uh, just wait till that boils, and when it comes to a boil, we'll uh, let it boil for about three minutes. Okay, the pumpkin has come to a boil, and we're going to just let this boil for another minute or so. What this does, especially with something like this, is it removes some of the air from the, uh, from the vegetable itself. The, the blanching process does. Okay. We'll be ready to put these in jars in just a moment. Okay, I'm ready to start canning. I've got my pressure canner on the stove here uh, with about three quarts of water in it. So it's uh, coming up to temperature as we speak. The uh, pumpkin has um, boiled for a couple of minutes and I'm ready to put it into jars. I have nine jars clean here. I have more if I need them. And I have my vinegar my lids, my rings, my uh, chopstick to debubble, and we're ready to go here. So, all we're going to do is fill up these jars. I have no idea how many of these three small pumpkins, how many jars it will fill. And we want to leave one inch head space. Now I want to put them in pint jars because that cooks for less time and it's about the same size as pumpkin that you'd buy in a can. So you just I like to tap it down so just needed the cloth there rather than squeezing it down. And as per my usual fashion, I like to fill the jars up ouch first, rather than do them one at a time. So that's what I will do. Okay. Yeah, and it's a bit of a chore to peel these really nice to have a fresh pumpkin that you've canned yourself. You know what's in this jar. Okay.
How many have I got? Three, six. Well, we might get eight. And now I need my strainer. Oh, we might even get more than that. So now to check for the headspace and add my liquid. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to move the camera a bit to be able to grab something here. makes it so much quicker and easier. Now, yes I am using the water that I boiled the pumpkin in. Why not? It has the pumpkin flavor in it. So, add all the goodness. So we'll put it back right into these jars. Okay. Okay, so now we we'll check for debubble and check for headspace. Not much fun. Maybe not that much. Uh, does it matter if these break up in the jar? I don't think so. We want to turn it into mush anyway afterwards. So, they don't have to retain the cube like. Unfortunately, you can't mush them up before you put them in the jar. The density would be too uh, large. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. That's it there. I've adjusted each one to where I want them. Okay. At this point, 
I'm going to dip my vinegar in, um, or use, use, sorry, take a paper towel, dip it in vinegar, clean the rims, take a lid, ring, finger tight, and these are very hot right now. Okay. And they can go directly into a hot canner. Two more. Now we'll be processing these at 10 pounds pressure, because that's my altitude, that's what's required for my altitude. You always have to check for your own altitude, and for 55 minutes. So, we get them all in, we put the lid on, we let it vent for 10 minutes. Once it's vented for 10 minutes, we put the little weighted, the little weight on, and then we pressure can for 55 minutes. What did we get here? Three, four, six, eight, nine. Good. That'll make a few pies. And I've already put vinegar in my canner because the last time I forgot to and I find that very annoying because it just makes the jars all cloudy. So, just to be sure, I've already put some in, but it won't hurt now to dump the rest of this vinegar in there as well. And yes, I'm using brand new lids. I still have enough to last me. Those of you who have been into canning for a while know that there's, you've got this little vent here where the weight goes on. Well, every time before you put this lid on, you have to check to make sure that you can see clearly through that, see the light through that little hole. It doesn't matter which direction you do it from, but you look through it to make sure that there's light, and that's just to ensure that it's not plugged or anything. Okay, so now I've got my lid on the pressure canner, and we're set to go. I'm going to turn the camera off and clean up this mess that I made. Okay, that's it for this video. The pumpkin is out of the canner. Everything looks beautiful. I'm going to really enjoy the pies that come from these. And I'm thinking of getting another three little pumpkins and doing another batch. Probably not more than that though. And this is Tony from Her Homestead Skills saying goodbye. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.